Yeah, Blair, Catherine Harrison didn't live an easy childhood. Orphaned at the age of 10, she was sent to an abusive foster home. As an adult, she raised 10 children of her own with little to no help from her alcoholic husband. It was later in life, though, she set out on a mission to fight for the rights and restoration of two of Oregon's tribes. The sounds of drums and song fill the room at the Spirit Mountain Casino. Voices carry the tune of Katherine Harrison's life. From family members. We have great memories and we just need to keep telling them. To tribal leaders. When we look at where the tribe was and where we are today, we do owe a great, a great debt of gratitude. And politicians. Katherine Harrison was a woman known and respected statewide in Oregon. Almost everyone here was in some way touched by her life. That's the way she always was, is she cared more about people than herself. In the 1970s, 20 years after 61 tribes in Oregon lost federal recognition, Katherine Harrison made restoration for them her mission. And if it weren't for her, we, Solettes, um, had a difficult time being restored but restoring the Grand Round Tribe was a great feat and we owe her, we owe her family for lending us Catherine for all these years. She testified in front of Congress and helped not only the Siletz Tribe but also got federal recognition back for her own. The restoration was really a vision of the heart. I believe sent by our Creator to help our people come into what He planned for us. And she was one of those leaders more than a leader, but a visionary. In 1995, she helped establish a gaming contract for the Spirit Mountain Casino. That contract set up the most successful tribal casino in the Northwest. Carrie Timchuk, executive director of the Oregon Historical Society says, Harrison was a friend of his for more than two decades. Someone he says didn't let her short height ever get in the way of what she wanted. Persistence. She just didn't give up. I mean, there were many times, many opportunities where it, she, she could have given up, where there was too many hurdles in the road. Katherine Harrison was 99 years old. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.